Hello everyone. Welcome to IoT Frontier. My name is Hariharnath. In this video, you'll learn how to install and configure the MQTT Explorer and how to publish and subscribe to the topics using various other clients like MQTT Cool Client and Local Mosquito CLI Client. So stay tuned until the end of this video to get all the concepts clear with this practical demo. So let's get started by installing the MQTT Explorer. So first search for MQTT Explorer and click on the first link. Here you will be having the option to download. So if you are using Windows, you can click on installer and then immediately it will download the installer. So we can start installation by clicking on it. And it is very straightforward without any wizard and it will directly open the MQTT Explorer. So initially you will see two brokers and the first one eclipse.org doesn't work. If you try to connect it will say address information and some e not found. So you can delete this and the second one it will be able to connect and if you see advanced you can see it is subscribing to the all topics and sys topics as well. So we will leave it as it is right now and go back and connect. So now we can see these are so many topics that are being loaded and these are being updated. So if you try to use this, it will try to overwhelm this MQTT Explorer. So that's why we'll disconnect this first. When I tried to test this test.mosquito.org, it was very slow. So that's why I'll not use that. I'll try to create a new connection, which is EMQX. So for that, I'll open EMQX public MQTT broker and here you can just copy this broker information and in the name also you can put and the host also same and the port will be same. You can go to advanced, remove these. Here we'll be adding our topic. So I'll use a topic called IoT Frontier, building one, floor one and data. So now click on add, go back and save it then connect. So now because this is our unique topic, no messages are coming right now until we send one. So now we'll do two scenarios. The first scenario is MQTT Explorer will act as a subscriber and will publish from two clients that is local Mosquito MQTT clients and another one from cloud broker that is MQTT cool client. So first I'll try to show you quick glimpse on how to install Mosquito MQTT CLI clients. If you want a detailed steps, you can always watch my previous video to get complete steps by clicking on the top right corner. Go to this mosquito.org and click on download page. So once you are in the download page, you have Windows operating system and here you can choose 64 bit or 32 bit. I'll use the 64 bit and I'll download it. I'll click on this. So in the setup wizard, you can click on next and click on install. So you can now go to the services and here you should be able to see mosquito broker. Yes. So you can see here and it is not shown as running. You can click on start here. If you refresh, the mosquito broker should be running here. Now you can go back to the C folder and program files mosquito. So you can type mosquito hyphen H. So it will give you the help command and how you can use that. So once the installation is done, you just go to the command prompt. So here you need to use a publish command. So this is the publish command wherein you can see mosquito pub is the client and H is the host. Uh, so that is here broker.emqx.io port is 1883 topic, the same topic that we have used hyphen M for message. So what I'm trying to send is hello from mosquito CLI client. So now you can click on this. So after this, you should see new message has come here. You can see IoT frontier building one floor one and data. This is how you can see the topic got divided and it is being shown here. Next is that we'll try to send the same similar kind of message from the MQTT cool client, which is in the cloud. 
So for that, I'll open this test client hyphen cloud mqtt dot cool. I'll provide all these links in the description below. And here you need to find out which broker that we are using. So here we are not using any of these. We are using EMQX. So for that, what we need to do is we need to go to this EMQX, copy this broker and click on configure, paste that host and save changes. Now you can see this is the broker, click on connect. Once this is connected, we'll try to publish this to the topic. So that same topic I'll try to copy. So this is the published topic and here I'll try to send a message from MQTT. Cool. And now if, if I try to publish, you should see that message as well coming here. The same way you got it here. So this is how you can see messages are being subscribed in MQTT Explorer by sending messages from different clients. So first scenario is done. So next scenario, we'll try to make it opposite. What we'll do is MQTT will try to publish data and we'll be subscribing on the other clients. So for that, here already we have this publish. Under this publish, we have this topic selected. And here we'll try to send some message. Before that, we need to open the command prompt and use MQTT sub. So here we know we don't need any message. So hyphen M I removed and instead of pub, we'll use sub and remaining everything will be same. So now we are subscribing to this topic. And then if we try to publish a message, so we can say message from MQTT Explorer. And I'll try to keep this beside and click on publish. So immediately you can see the message from MQTT Explorer has come to our Mosquito CLI client. And the same way I'll open here and I'll try to subscribe in the cloud. So the same topic I need to subscribe here and click on subscribe. Now I'll try to send it from MQTT Explorer with hyphen 2 and click on publish. So immediately you can see this message has come to the cloud client as well as you can see that in the CLI client of the local Mosquito client. And that's it for today's video. You have just learned MQTT publish and subscribe using various clients like MQTT Explorer, local based Mosquito CLI client and cloud based MQTT cool client. If you found this video informative, please type helpful in the comment section below and smash that like button. Check out my other video on MQTT advanced topics which covers retain, LWT, clean sessions and QoS from the top right corner or in the end screen. Your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating more content like this. So please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another interesting video.